So for the first layer, you're gonna be creating a shade. So you're gonna be needing black paint and your base color. You're only gonna need a little bit of black paint to mix into your base color. Continue mixing until you get a shade that you're happy with. After that, you're gonna coat your paintbrush with quite a bit of paint and this will create a smooth line. Because this project requires a lot of layering, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you widen or thicken up this base layer because you're going to have about four layers of paint continuously painted on top of each other. Make sure that you are consistently drying and washing off your brush in between each layer. So for the second layer, you're just gonna need your base color. Make sure that when you are painting, you leave a little bit of the previous layer showing underneath. And by doing that, you're going to be continuing painting a narrower or a thinner line directly on top of the previous layer. Now, because nobody is perfect, if you make a mistake and accidentally cover up too much, of the previous layer. Just make sure you dry off your brush and make sure that that paint layer is dry before you go back and paint over it. This is a great example of why it's important to mix enough paint throughout your project. So the next layer you're going to be reducing your brush size so make sure that you are using a smaller round tip brush and you're going to be making a tint which requires white plus your base color. And again, you're just going to be painting directly on top of your previous layers, making sure that the line is narrower. So this is a great reason to use a smaller brush because as you get smaller lines, it might be a little bit more difficult. So make sure that you're actively switching the brush. Last but not least, you're going to be using just white to create the final touches to create that neon glow. So here are some tips and tricks that'll help you throughout your project. The first one being you have enough paint on your brush at all times to create smooth lines. Second, you wanna make sure you have enough paint pre-mixed at the beginning. Third, your bottom layer must be your thickest or your widest layer to continue layering on top of it. Fourth, you need to make sure that each layer is dry before moving on. And then last but not least, make sure that you are using two completely different brushes throughout your project. 